James Palms here. What's up guys, James Palms here. So today is a pretty exciting day. We're going to plant a Mexican fan palm, my first one, which is this one right here, my first uh, ever going in the ground that I've grown from seed, going in my ground here in Southern Ontario, Canada. So it's a beautiful afternoon, I have a few minutes here. It's the 23rd, it's uh, June 20, actually June 25th, sorry, it's June 25th, uh, 2020. So. We're going to try putting this in the ground. We're going to see how it's going. This is about, from seed, it is two years, eight months, two years, well, two years, ten months almost now. Because uh, in September, it will be three years old. So I figured it's a good time. Uh, it's got a good sized trunk. It's really, really rooted out that pot. So hopefully I'm going to show you some of the steps. And what I'm going to do might be different where you are. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to try to show a little bit of steps. And we're going to try to, going to, try to get this thing planted. So... Uh, this is a pretty good spot. First thing you want to do is pick out your spot where you want it. Sun-loving palm, know the palm. So this is a super sun-loving palm. So if being that it's a super sun-loving palm, we want it in an area. This is getting afternoon sun. It's about six right now. And it gets sun almost right till it goes down. And the sun comes up over the house here. And this gets sun uh, by before, before nine in the morning. Uh, and as it gets taller, the angle will come even more. It'll get more sun as it gets taller. So for this age, it'll be good. And eventually it'll be full, full 100% uh, day sun. It's almost right now, full, full day sun. So that's what you want, pick a nice sunny spot, pick the location, mark it out, and then decide. I recommend you dig the hole much bigger than the root ball, which I am going to do. Digger, uh, deeper and wider. And, uh, and then I also recommend you have some, I have some sand that I'm gonna use in here, as well as some potting mix, which is right here. This is just a sort of standard potting mix with uh, lots of perlite and things. This one's for flowers. It's not uh, amazing, but whatever, it's fine. It has a little bit of that like slow release fertilizer too, which will, which will help. We're gonna put that in there, a little bit of sand, and I am probably gonna mix in just a bit of perlite with it as I put it in, and maybe a little bit of my own dirt. That's why I have this, uh, the tarp set out, because I'll, I'll probably throw some of the dirt back in. And now I don't know, uh, some of my other palms, I put a heat cable, uh, my other washi, uh, just a few inches below the ground as I buried it, I buried a heat cable uh, around the outside perimeter so that when the nights get cold on a winter night that some of the heat would radiate into there. But I, I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't think it's ever really needed. I don't think it has needed it. Um, I could be wrong. I might just have it. I might just put it in because I have it. I don't think it will need it, but I, don't, I haven't decided yet. It'll be the last minute sort of thing. So this palm's going in the ground. It's going to drop it down a little bit because uh, right now it's at my shoulder, so it's nice having... Uh, it this tall, but uh, I know it's not going to go crazy fast when I put it in the ground right now, but next year it will, it'll take off. So it's like one of those things you just have to bite the bullet because uh, even though it'll be growing better indoors in the winter over this winter, whereas this winter it'll pretty much be sitting dormant because it's going to be protected, uh, the following year it'll, the growth through the summer will by far make up with, for anything you lose over the winter. So Anyways, uh, and I found that out because this thing here will blow the doors off of that. It will make a bigger leaf in way quicker time. Like right now, this will make a leaf every week and it can go up to as quick as every four days. Uh, that, that Mexican fan palm, and it was growing significantly slower than this one was when I first uh, started them. So anyways, this one's going in the ground and uh, in a few minutes here, hopefully, I got to get a, a Corona here because this is a Mexican fan palm. So we have to drink a Mexican beer and uh, let's see if we can get this baby planted. Let's stop talking and I'll start marking and digging my hole. I'll show a little bit of steps. might not be too much, but anyways, you're going to see before. You're going to see after. Hopefully a little bit during. I'll explain later. Okay. Okay. Whew. It's a hot day. It's around 29 Celsius, I think. Oh, so good. So, here's one thing to note. So, you want to look at the type of soil you have. So, this right here is very fast drying. Now, some people would call this a clay type soil, which it, and it is, because you can see there is clay in here. But this is a very sandy, rich, like, uh, it's a clay sand mixture. 
it's very fast draining so this is not like a hard clay and i live right near a river so this is like old uh, floodplains from rivers and stuff so everywhere you dig there's tons and tons of rocks i already removed tons with it uh as you dig there's just so much rock so rocks mixed with a bit of a sandy like this this soil right here right where we're standing here i've dug down to the water table before and we had huge rainstorm and it and it, it'll just suck it all up it, it'll take it in uh 10 at you can get a flooding flooding amount of water and it's gone within 24 hours less so the the water doesn't sit in here as you can see this soil is really dry so this is a good spot for a mexican fan palm just just keep it watered in the summer obviously uh once it's really established they can handle being super dry so uh anyways look at the soil type and if you have to dig down further if your soil doesn't like kind of you know if it's clumpy and it's clay and it doesn't just crumble like that in your hands and stuff then you might want to consider digging significantly further and amending it with more pot potting soil that's why i will be using quite a bit of this and i'll be mixing it with the potting soil but, you, but it, it, in this case here i have planted uh, uh palms in just this soil and, and they will do fine um it, it depends on what it looks like look at the soil and, and see what you think uh, you're working with so anyways this is just a uh, note uh side here and we'll uh, keep digging and we're gonna get this uh, palm in the ground as you get deeper as you get deeper you see what i'm talking about it's all rock it's a lot of rock and it's, i'm not even that deep yet everywhere you drive the shovel it's rock it's like 50 percent rock it's all just mixed in so that's what makes it such, such good draining soil when you got a lot of rock in there you have to just get it all out work your way around the rocks chip them out uh, but they like they like the the roots will make their way around the rocks and it, and it just adds for good drainage so let's keep going here well that was no picnic Whew. this was no picnic at all you gotta pull out whenever you can get these rocks like everywhere you dig here that's rock it's rock everywhere you dig it's all rocks rock sand clay mixture <sighs> anyways if you can, try to get it all. I don't mind a few smaller rocks like that. Anyways, what you want to do is to get your measurement. Figure out how deep your pot is and go a couple inches, go five, six inches deeper at least. So measure the pot, which is, that's the palm. So measure the pot from the bottom to the soil surface. And then drop your shovel across the hole like this. And then you measure from the center of the shovel to the center of your hole. And that'll tell you how if you're deep enough and go a little extra deeper and that way you can leave room for a bit of sand and a bit of bottom soil which i'm going to put at the bottom this is close to the depth though i can already tell uh, i might just have to go just a little bit deeper just remove all this stuff this debris and the rest of this even though that is rocky and stuff like that uh, these mexican fan palms are, can handle it they're used to they can grow the roots will grow right into the rocky soil it don't matter they'll uh, push right through they'll become they can grow right in uh, almost in solid rock so uh, anyways, let's keep going here. Okay, so there's the palm. I got it out of the pot. See how you sand on the bottom here? Look at how many roots. Layers and layers and layers of just root, no dirt. Just piling up all the roots. This is pretty root bound. It's looking good though. Beautiful roots. Look at that. So that's a lot of roots. I uh, definitely needed to be repotted holding the dirt there so that's the palm uh, and you can see the pot here it goes way down in the hole now the sides I could probably make the sides a little wider there's still definitely some room there I might scrape the sides a little bit but basically that's what you want to do make it much bigger and now we can put a lot of this loose soil uh, there and my potting soil mix it in around it so uh, that's what we're gonna do now so keep watching okay so what I did is I put about uh six not six three inches of sand on the bottom very bottom then i dumped half a bag of potting soil and then i put about five teaspoons of the top diggins that i dug out of here the top surface of the the soil with more nutrients and more sandy like uh less clay and less rock in it i mixed that in all together with my hands mixed it into the bottom set the palm in 
decided to get it the right height. If I needed a little more underneath it, lifted it up, shoved more dirt underneath it. I got the dirt underneath it now and it's just up a couple inches. I threw another half of the other half of the bag around the sides here and I'm mixing in the diggings with it. And uh, at this point, I'm gonna start watering. I get the hose out, I'm gonna start watering the soil down. So you don't want any air pockets in there. So I'm gonna start watering the soil and I'm gonna start putting a little bit. I'm gonna put only probably a quarter cup of fertilizer just down low here in the roots. I'm gonna sprinkle it around the outside right here of this hole of a little bit of the fert. Uh, palm fertilizer that is Sunnyland and uh, we'll do that and then on the top time when I'm done the top I'll put maybe another quarter cup on the very top surface and we'll water it in and then I don't have any mulch today I use this brown mulch I'll have to get a bag uh, maybe I can run out to the store and get it I gotta finish this beer too and uh, let's see what happens And that's it guys, it's planted. So this is on a bit of a hill, that's why this side's a little higher. But it's planted in the ground. Ah, nice. So I'll be enjoying this palm for years to come off my patio here. Uh, I just gotta put a little bit of uh, mulch there. I'll put a little mulch, a little mulch and a little fertilizer. And I might take my edger and clean the edges up uh, with my uh, power edger. And uh, other than that, that's it. This is what's a uh, new permanent home. Uh, this palm obviously never would have existed if I didn't go to Florida and collect the seed. So uh, go uh, grab a seed for any type of palm, whatever you want to grow. Uh, even if you're in an area like me that can't grow palm trees, uh, uh, this is uh, going to show you what you can do. Just uh, It's a, a good hobby to have. Grow a plant from seed and watch it grow in your own yard as a beautiful tree. Uh, obviously I like you can do it even with a native uh, do it with a maple tree or something that was a twig when I came here and I left it uh, it's fun to watch them grow for me I'm not so much into uh, the regular deciduous uh, native trees but I'm obviously into the tropical palms uh, and plants so yeah just uh, enjoy grow them from seed it's a lot of fun this is my first one obviously I bought all these because I enjoy them being big I like big palms so uh, I like getting them when they're bigger but this will be my first one uh, I'm impatient, so that's why it's Mexican fan palm, super fast growing. So we'll give her lots of fertilizer and water, and uh, hopefully this palm will be a beautiful uh, tree here in my collection for many years to come. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, be kind to everyone, and have a wonderful day. And uh, for all the bad things there is in the world, uh, these are some good things you can do. This is giving back to the planet, and uh, it's just uh, it's just beautiful. It's fun. And it's good. It's making air. A lot of people will say, well, this palm can't grow forever. Uh, it's only there by you and it's going to die one day. Well, you're going to die one day too. So uh, that being the case, uh, enjoy it while it lasts. Don't, don't worry about one day, 50 years from now or 20 years from now or 100 years from now, whatever it is. Uh, live each day and enjoy it. And uh, just uh, have a beautiful day, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more palmy videos and uh, more updates obviously on this particular palm. So uh, there it is. This is what it's gonna look like when I sit on my couch here. I just can't wait till it gets up even higher. And it looks small now that it's in the ground. It looks big in the pot, but it's still a pretty good size for uh, less than a three-year-old plant and we'll, uh, it'll take off once it's in the ground here now. So thanks for watching, later.